hi everyone and welcome back uh, welcome to my channel and this playlist where i'm covering uh, about interview questions about node.js react angular view or whatever the front-end framework and in this video we'll just talk about some node.js questions i mean we'll just do a general talk okay what can be the questions in node.js and i actually selected top 50 questions after doing a deep research even actually i created one google docs to publish it on some uh, third-party blog but it didn't work out so i put it in on my personal blog and it covers about unique questions which you will not be able to find here and there on these websites it talks about some general questions and some deep questions okay like uh, some are the primary questions which are okay what is node.js what is node.js architecture when should we use node.js what is a node.js it's a single it's a non io blocking single threaded model explain more about it node.js is event driven okay non io blocking these principles node.js architecture stack what all components the node.js architecture contains like v8 runtime engine then thread pool leave uv libraries on top of that you have a node.js c++ bindings like socket http etc on top of that you have uh, you have these node.js modules which is provided by it right so what is a node.js architecture there may be a questions more about what is the event loop single threaded event loop how it how it keeps running when when the user uh, keeps requesting from an http server when the event loop dies when the so is it true that when whenever the event loop is running the node.js process keeps up and running okay explain in depth about event loop mechanism in node.js so these are some common questions what is the role of package json npm script yarn package manager and pnode package manager what is the event driven programming and how node.js is event driven language so you should be aware about what is event driven programming and how this event emitter modules or event event score module is helping us to raise an event once something has happened right so so we are emitting the event and then we are handling the event right what is this node.js v8 runtime engine how node.js is different from the traditional javascript which is running on the client how, what is the usage of node.js to write a command line applications to create a rest apis to render the web pages from the back end or write a rest interface or a graphql interface right what are the different options to write asynchronous code you can use set timeout you can use callback promises async await uh, you can use async io library or bluebird q libraries or you can just use use async await right so i have created these five different sets of 10 questions each okay and it talks about all node.js questions right what is node.js callback and how it helps to run asynchronous task right so if you just read a simple file you will write something like this and read file and this is the callback so this callback will get executed once the file task is done so this asynchronous task will notify okay i'm done now you can execute the callback this callback will have error first callback so you have to check first if error is there otherwise you got the data right explain the basic async pipe in javascript like uh, set timeout set immediate set interval what is the difference between them so set immediate is something you should look into uh, what is repl read eval print loop which is the the node.js shell when you write node and you start uh, executing the command what is the node.js cluster module and what are the core modules like os pa, os path uh, fs events domain dns crypto all these are node.js core modules uh, again what is the events what are the node.js uh, data streams like if you want to read a read and write a file there are many possible ways you can read and write file using synchronous using fs.read file sync read file asynchronous using callback or using stream using cre by creating read and write stream uh, so you will be using the streaming apis provided by node.js uh, what is error check first callback i mean in the callback you will always do the check for error right if error is there handle the error and then do the actual operation what is a different module pattern in javascript so if we talk about uh, module pattern then there are common js module pattern uh, esx module umd amd module patterns exist in javascript 
okay what is callback hell and all these things how you can overcome from that by writing promises modularizing code using by not doing the nesting of callback by using a sync library like you can use async waterfall instead of writing the nested callbacks okay what are the promises write a simple call which is returning a promise then you'll be writing dot then handling the either resolve or reject of a promise okay um, i'm stopping here so i will just attach this link these are the very top 50 interview questions about node.js because node.js is all about javascript what it provides just a, a simple architecture on top of weird runtime engine which provides us this uh, uh, single threaded uh, known io blocking process and which keeps running in this event loop and keeps handling the request which are coming from the client as a http server or any other process running inside an event loop and uh, helping us as a command line application or an http server application or becoming a web server for our application okay uh, that's it uh, thanks everyone